Now it's on. It's on, okay. So all you got to do is... All right, you're on set. Okay, we are at the Northeast Campground Association Convention right here in Springfield, Massachusetts, and I am with probably the number one man in the Northeast when it comes to this, David Berg. Red Apple Kid from David say hello to all the people up there. The hello, everybody, and welcome to the Springfield Show, where the best products in RVs are shown and the greatest campers get together to share ideas and help each other be successful. David, all I said you to do was say hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, that's it. Now, I'll ask the questions. You do the answers. Marvelous. Yeah. Tell us about your particular um, facility first, and then we'll get into the organization. Well, my facility is located in beautiful Kennebunk, Port Maine, in the southern Maine coast. We have 140 sites. We have three things in our campground, clean, quiet, and relaxing. So let's say those clean, quiet, and relaxing. And what, does that, what does that mean? What does that do? That means that our all of our sites are grassed and manicured. We have all kinds of topography. We have all kinds of flowers. All our roads are paved. There's no mud. Even in mud season. Even in mud season. Okay. We're here at this convention. You can see it, Bob. I think you can see all the activity behind us here. There's a lot of negative going around about what the economy is doing, but it doesn't seem to be emanating from this facility. Well, there's a reason for that. Okay. Camping is recession proof. Okay. Campgrounds are an affordable way for families to go out and have a vacation for a very reasonable expense. They can go back to tent camping if they want to. They can be very, very reasonable. But even if they have a unit, you can go out for a week and spend a few hundred dollars. You can't do that at any other conversation. So you don't have to worry about what RV sales are this week or what's happening. Absolutely not. We're yeah. concerned about it for other people in the industry, but from campground perspective, absolutely not. Okay. From the president of the association, what can you tell your fellow members about how they should be looking for business this particular year? How important is previous business to future business? It's very important, but you have to understand all the changes is trend. People used to travel from 500 to 100 miles away and stay a few days. Right now they're traveling from 200 miles away and they're going to stay for a week or two. A week or two? A week or two. We've seen our days very much expand, so you have to learn to where to change your advertising dollars and things like that. So we have to adapt to the market, but we're still going to have a very busy season. August is almost sold out for me. It's very unusual. August doesn't usually sell out for me. And so people know when the kids are going back to school and so on. They're almost already going to August. Keep are planning ahead, they're making their plans, they're making sure, and they're spending their money now. They're offering to pay up front. Paying up front. So even when they don't require it. discount or they're just nope. paying up front? I don't offer any discounts. They, 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 they want to firm up their business. They want to firm up their business. And also, they make their plans now and pay for it. It's all paid for. They don't have to worry about credit. Credit card. Down they don't know what they can afford, and they're working on it now. In our final seconds, give us some words of advice for the industry on how they should look at this situation that we're in with a positive view. Absolutely, this is an opportunity for us to bring in people to camping who have never been to camping before simply because it's an affordable way and a fun family way to spend your time together. Direct from Springfield, Massachusetts at the Northeast Campground Association. Now back to you. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Great to meet you. Take care, folks. I didn't realize you were doing an interview. I was going to do this number, but...